Hey guys, welcome to the GKI Zone. I'm at a 40 hour and 36 minute fast. Water and some tea and a couple cups of coffee. Salt, potassium, magnesium, vitamins, things like that. No solid food. And I am gonna do a GKI test, see what I'm at right now. I'm doing the glucose first, 80. I could have a little bit of a cortisol spike with this long fast like this. Could be some body stress. 4.7 on the ketone. That's more of a representation of the fast. 80 glucose, which is a bit high in my opinion for fasting that long. However, I do think because of uh, the body potentially releasing cortisol, a little bit of adrenaline, other things that could be happening in the body when it's you know, in autophagy or the body's going through different processes. That's what I chalk it up to, not medical advice to you. There are body changes that happen when on a fast. So let's see what the actual GKI is, and then we'll have the, the full deal. As expected, I knew it was gonna be low. GKI 0 0.9, so it's below one. It's the highest level of therapeutic ketosis by Keto Mojo. Well, that's a wrap, guys. Just wanted to share that with you, give me an update. And uh, I put links below of the products I use, you know, salt, potassium, minerals, various vitamins, things like that. Check with your nutritionist, check with your doctor, find out what your body needs. If you're gonna be doing two, three day fast, uh, make sure that you are providing yourself good nutrients for the purpose of autophagy and doing a little body recycle on the cells, like a, like a reboot. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.